Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie. This is my Crafty Dan and I am in the process of setting up my planner for the week of October the 16th to the 22nd and it is week 42 of 2023. That's right, we only have 10 weeks left this year. That is absolutely crazy how fast this year seems to have gone by. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why it feels like that, but it is nuts. So I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to start cutting down my pages. And then I am going to set up my boxes and I'm going to put in my checklists and all of that. And I think I'll just speed that up while I go through this. All right, I've got pages cut down and all my boxes in. I'm going to start decorating. So I'm going to turn my book on its side. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab this. This is the new set of washi tapes that I just hauled. I am really excited about this. I'll put a link in the description box below for this. And I am going to grab some washi tapes in the colors purple to match this spread. I'm doing a purple spread for a Halloween spread. I want these colors, but I'm gonna take that one out and use this one, this one, and this dark purple. So these are the three that I'm gonna use. And I'm going to put my washi tape down here. My thoughts when I bought this box of washies was that I'd be able to just do this. Just like that. Tear that off and flip it over and then match this up. On the back side. There. Perfect. And then all I have to do is trim at the top and the bottom. And this is kind of easier than wrapping it around. So if you've decided that you want to try to do something like this and you want to wrap washi on the edge of your pages as well, it's easier to do a straight line on either side than it is to try to wrap it. I mean, I've been wrapping it. It's not impossible, but it is a little bit on the trickier side. So I've got my purple boxes and I've got my border on these stepped pages. So I just like the way that it looks. And to decorate this week, I have these. Now they're from Dollarama. I don't know if they have them this year or not. But these are, I think they're just die cut pieces. I don't think they're stickers. But they're in orange, black, and purple. 
and I'm doing a purple spread this week so I'm gonna use these it's gonna be really easy to just put a little bit of glue on the back so I'm gonna pull out the purple ones and just set them here so I know what I've got to work with let's see what we're gonna put down here and I'm just gonna start laying them out and if I don't like something I'll pick it back up again and use it somewhere else I like that there's no glitter coming off of these so they're all they're really well glittered but there's no glitter coming off of them so I want these ones on the front and the back pages here I've got my Tombow glue with this really fine point on it right here and all I got to do is just put that tiniest little bit So I'm gonna put this at the bottom of this page. I'm gonna put this one in next. I love all these shades of purple together. I can't remember who it is. Um, one of the content creators that I watch, she loves anything purple just loves anything purple and I love purple not enough that I want it all the time but October is the perfect month I want that hat beside the cat but I wanted it in such a way that it didn't cover any of my checklist here There, yeah, I love spreads that take me no time at all to do. So I just wrote this out. I'm gonna glue on some bits. This is gonna be pretty easy. There. Now I'm going to put a few bits throughout my pages. So this, these ones are a little wider. So I think I'm going to put spooky down here. And something little on this page, maybe up a little bit. And it's all purple, not a single other color. It still has lots of color to me, at least. So it's been a really quiet week here. Like absolutely quiet. Nothing much has happened. It's been rainy and a little bit miserable. I like this little purple swirl. And Here's the other shoe. So I'm thinking here, guys, does that make sense to put them toe to toe? Should have put them heel to heel. I should have put that, should have put that one there and that one there, and then they could have gone out like that. But this is fine as well. So 
So I think these were just called glittered, uh, glitter die cuts. But I'm sure they probably have things like this at Dollar Tree and Dollarama right now. So when you're going and looking at things in the dollar store to use in your planner, try to take a look at things differently. Normally these would be used for kids crafts or things like that. But I, I think they lend themselves to other projects like this. So, yeah, that's it. So, all I'm going to do now is put down um, tasks, social media. Oh, I left out a line, guys. There. And today but because it's a purple spread I'm not going to add a color wash to all of my headers I'm just going to leave them with my black and I've written this all in the Sharpie S gel. I'm loving this pen. It's my new favorite pen and I can get it at Dollarama. So it hasn't bled through any of my papers. It's really nice and crisp all the time. All I'm going to put my color on is just over here on my week title. There, week 42, October the 16th to the 22nd. So now I'm not liking, I thought I might put more errands in there, and now I'm not liking that, guys. Can I do this? There. I'm much happier with just the every other. So I've been putting my dots in every other line to give myself room to write just in case I need to do a second line on something. And it's been working, so why change it, right? So yeah, there it is. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you'd do that now before you left and become part of my YouTube family. And I'll see everybody in the next one. Until then, bye-bye for now, everyone.